Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Real quick before I start playing, although let me start typing my name and stuff, I just want to, I don't know, acknowledge that I failed to, to create an update video for you sooner. Um, I, I should have. It's hard to type a name and speak at the same time. Uh, last week... Last week I was working on the seven-day roguelike competition uh, this year's. Uh, there's one every year. Mysterious Space was initially created for the one last year. I wanted to participate this year, and I wanted to make a game uh, that tied in. We're going to skip this tutorial. I, I ultimately failed. I got sick, and then I was kind of depressed about being sick. Uh, and and then, yeah, I don't know. You know, Once once you get behind in a, in a seven-day period to make something, it's really hard to, to catch back up. It was, it was hard to regain the motivation. So I ultimately failed to produce anything that week. That week was kind of a waste. I have produced some code that I may be able to pull over into Mysterious Space, but I mean, yeah, my time would have been better spent making Mysterious Space, although I probably would not have much anyway, uh, again, due to getting sick and everything. So uh, this week I have been working on it. I'm, I, you know, a release got delayed. I really wanted to, to release, first of all, in the middle of, of last week, um, and by last week, it's Sunday now, so so I don't mean like the week just just recent, but the week before that is when I worked on the 7-day RL, and I was going to release during that week, but then the 7-day RL happened. Um, let me turn on the volume here. Uh, and so I should have released the week after that, which was the, the most recent week. I wish there was a better way, a more unambiguous way to talk about days in the past. English fails me, or I have failed. Either way, uh, so I'm a little behind, but mini bosses are in, as I am about to show you, and you can see uh, the AI lady is telling me all about. That's why we went through the tutorial. I wanted to reset the tutorial setting so we could look at this. Um, and they work. He shoots you, and it's real bad. I have hacked the game right now to uh, always have a, a mini boss on every level, just because I want to make sure I, I show it to you. Uh, otherwise, there's only a random chance, and additionally, he would never be on the first level. No mini boss. I keep saying he. It's because so the character's the the boss's name is uh, Regenerating Rigel because I like my stupid alliterative names, um, <laughs> and I don't know. Rigel sounds like a guy named to me, so I keep saying he, but I really shouldn't because I don't know. It's a crazy machine thing, and even if it has intelligence, I doubt it would identify as any biological gender. Certainly. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, this is regenerating Rigel. You can see I'm blowing off the itty bitty pieces. You may also note that they're regenerating, and they regenerate at a really annoying rate when he's on the first level. Again, he is never supposed to appear. It is never supposed to appear on the first level, but I've hacked the game to put it on the first level so so we can see, um, so that I can show you. And I'm desperately trying to blow him up. I have also made another change, which we can see right here, but maybe you don't know we're seeing, so I will tell you about it. Uh, I have changed the color of bullets to reflect their effects. So it used to be purely random. You could pick up a, any gun, any kind of, you know, maybe it's an EMP bullet or a bouncy bullet or a fragmenting bullet, uh, but it could be any color, any color in existence. God, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard because I'm not supposed to be facing him this early, and it's also hard because I'm talking, I should not have, I might game over on you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do I have, like, any, I don't have any alien artifacts I can use. Uh, so, anyway, the bullets are now colored. There's still some random wiggle room going on, uh, but all EMP bullets will be shades of blue, and uh, all bouncing bullets are pink or purple. Uh, gosh, I got hit anyway. And then uh, damaging bullets fill the rest of the colors, although I left out green, uh, both because green is the opposite of red, so it might feel like the opposite of damaging, and also because, uh, for that same reason, I did it! I killed him. Uh, I might want green bolts to do something else. It's also kind of close to blue. Um, I'm thinking that what I will... I might have bolts in the future that heal or something like that or steal life or something, and I will re reserve green for that color. Um, and again, it's also the opposite of red, uh, which is the color of damaging bullets. Uh, they can also be yellows and oranges, as you can see my main gun is and that boss's main gun was. Uh, but anyway, the idea with that change is to increase the clarity of what's going on. So orange numbers are indicating damage, which are dealt by orange or yellow or red bullets, um, all that kind of stuff. And, and and again, now and now when you see a bullet coming at you, you know, oh, a blue bullet, it's not going to kill me, but it is going to slow me. But, you know, that probably means you're willing to take the hit much more likely than if it was a damaging bullet. 
especially from that boss. And it's also important for that boss because he throws a bajillion bullets at you. Uh, you know, there is a sweet spot that I was trying to stick in where you can dodge a lot of them, but you are going to get hit by those EMP bullets, and that is the point. Um, so uh, you need to know that it's going to be okay when you see that mass of bullets coming at you. And the first time you approach him, maybe you do not. Uh, but you will quickly find out because you'll get hit by blue bullets and you won't be killed. And you may also notice, and I wish now that he was still here, uh, when you're slowed, the word slowed that blinks underneath your shield armor and hull is in blue. So it's all about increasing the clarity of the bullet effects. I, I really, you know, previously it was just, it, there, there was not that clarity. Um, and I think it's important that, that you have that information so that you can make decisions about what, you know, what you're doing and, and how to approach. Uh, for, at a glance, the, even when you uh, you know there's a new enemy you've never seen him before, but they're blue and they're blue bolts. You know what that's going to do to you. Uh, so, and uh, I don't know. You you could say all sorts of funny things like, I I just I, I got to thinking about this. You know, I was like, well, you have like this awesome AI computer, and you know you it's the crazy future you're probably integrated with the computer in some direct way what you are seeing doesn't necessarily have to reflect what you see in in what, what the visible spectrum would show you you know i mean i mean imagine if you had awesome glasses that could let you see uh information about a person like 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 what if it was tied into facebook or whatever and it showed you green if they were a friend and blue if they weren't or whatever you could overlay that directly onto a person's like they could have a halo indicating their color right uh you could do like you can imagine having really cool stuff like that and, and when you think about the crazy far future if you're like in some sort of i mean this is apparently according to the story some sort of military-ish mission you probably have a super sweet computer that like interfaces with your brain directly and tells you all kinds of crazy information it would certainly tell you this bullet's gonna hurt you or this bullet is gonna slow you you, you would have that information you probably so it's just interesting to think about that kind of stuff. I don't know. This is, this is because of the future, the futurist setting of the game, and and as it is exposed in the logs as well. Um, you know, you've got humans that are being uploaded into computers and all this kind of madness. It, it just puts me in a mind to think about those sorts of things. So, anyway, w on the other hand, if you take that to that extreme, you might say, well, then you wouldn't see any of this nonsense. You wouldn't see excess bubbles on the screen because they're meaningless information to you. You know, the borders would probably be highlighted in a different way and, you know, the visualization would just be totally different. It, maybe if it is interfacing with your brain directly, you wouldn't even, com it wouldn't be comparable to vision, but it's a video game, not the actual real future, and I can interface with your brain. I cannot interface with your brain. So, um, oh, did she, oh, now she told me about lava. That's very good. I was like, oh, did she just tell me about mini bosses again? Anyway, I just want to show you another boss. Um, anyway, so that was all rambling. And by another boss, I mean the exact same one. So now that we, we know about the bolts, and I was talking about the sweet spot, I just wanted to show you some of the things I was trying to think. So he shoots in these pulses. It looked better when he was stationary because, oh, that was not good. Um, what happened just there is I hit the top of the level, and so I could not dodge the bullet. And that is real bad because the edge of the level is not clear. Um, I'm going to have to think about what to do about that. Anyway... Uh, so yeah, there is, if you is stationary, or moving straight towards you, yeah, you've got like the sweet spot. He moves up and down, which is an intentional thing, and he kind of picks these fixed uh, heights in, the, in, in, I don't know, in orbit. I, I like to think of him as being in orbit. He always is moving the same direction around the planet, and he kind of switches between three levels of, of distance from, from the surface. Um, Anyway, so it's hard to, it's to sit in his sweet spot, which is ideal. Uh, he's also designed to be a multiplayer. I mean, not exactly. He needs to be both. But for co-op games, he specifically regenerates faster, uh, which will make it harder for you to approach him in a single-player fashion. Uh, obviously, in single-player mode, you need to still be able to, to overcome his regenerating effect. But he, he gets cheaty buffed for multiplayer. And I feel a little bad about that. I don't know the best way to reflect that. Um, you know, the fact that he's regenerating bits faster, I'm hoping you'll just notice that and be like, oh god, he's regenerating super fast, why is he doing that? Um, yeah, I'm hoping that because it is an obvious thing uh, visually, you'll catch on. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to show off. Uh, there is music. I worked with DDR Kirby ISQ uh, last week to make other music. Let's see if I can find, like, I need, I need a sound test in the game, you know, like old school games have. Let's... I don't know. Can I get a desert? Can I get a desert world? No, it's, a, it's an ocean world. 
Ocean Olds have pretty music, though. I like ice music the best. Anyway, DDR, Kirby, ISQ, and I got together last week, which, again, not the most recent week, but the week before that. Gosh, it's weird because it's the weekend. Do, do normal humans have a way to talk about this? I don't know. Anyway, we made a song. We made the song for... Barren Worlds or Desert Worlds? I'm a terrible person. No, Forest Worlds. We did Forest Worlds. It was the week before that where we did the other ones. Anyway, um, they are currently out of town, so we have are not making this. We did not make a song, the you know the Thursday most recent, and probably will not make another song Thursday uh, coming up. But it seems that every Thursday that that's a good day. Um, there's a make a song in an hour uh, challenge uh, that DDR Kirby. ISQ <laughs> regularly participates in. So I should just say DDR Kirby. I, I was asking about the name. Um, and the ISQ was apparently added just to avoid possible conflicts with other internet named people. So it's, it's not necessarily an important part of the name. Anyway, so DDR Kirby and I will make other songs. Um, there's only a couple missing, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I was thinking that I would like to have boss music at some point. It wouldn't be for this guy. So this guy is a mini boss. I want to add uh, non-mini bosses, major bosses that you would fight not on a level but completely on their own stage. Uh, you'd have a fixed screen and, you know, it'd be a lot more arcade feeling, I guess. Uh, and you wouldn't have these annoying guys spawning all the time. Or maybe you would, depending on the boss. Little helpers. Anyway, uh, those guys will definitely want music. I have, like, story reasons for them and stuff like that, so they'll be a little more interestingly integrated and, and have their own theme songs and stuff. Anyway, that's all for the future. This release, I, you know, I'm super ready to release. Let me quit the game. I I will release tonight. I'm having a friend over uh, in the evening. So if, if that goes longer than expected, which I'm not going to try and stop because I like hanging out with people, um, then I will release tomorrow instead. But I'm thinking tonight or tomorrow this is going to be out. Maybe that's the most important information. Should I have told you that first? It does this in the debugging. I won't do that to you when you play. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I am excited for that reason. I probably should have mentioned that like way at the beginning. Hey guys, release in just a day or two. So that's really cool. Uh, it's going to have these mini bosses, again, not on every single level. It's got the uh, the EMP bullet changes. And uh, some nice things like the, the background textures, which I've showed off weeks ago. And I feel like it's another, uh, again, another clarity thing that it w earlier would have been better, you know, to have had that. But... It is what it is. We'll have it in the next release. Um, and more tree graphics. Hooray! So, anyway, I will have this out again uh, tonight or tomorrow, which is super cool. That's Sunday the 22nd of March, or Monday the 23rd of March. Maybe referring to precise dates is the way that real humans refer to days in the past. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the long delay in releases, but at last is here. So thank you for your patience if you've had patience, and I'm sorry if you have been freaking out and without patience. Um, <laughs> but thanks again for watching. I rambled quite enough, and goodbye.